Hi, I'm Captain Travis Holman. I'm here with Captain Jonathan Sanchez and Captain Greg Arnold. We're looking at a map hypothesizing about what could potentially save the estuary and system here on the Mississippi Delta, which in particular is the Bluxy Marsh, the Delacro Interior, the Southern Oak River. What we're trying to do is propose saving the interior of the marsh, which is the nursery for all the different species of fish. Now, if you do it, Come on up, Palmer. Now, if we can save this, we have a future. Now, if they go out here with this extreme boom deal, you know, we're looking at four miles right here, try to boom all these major spots. This is like six miles right here. You come down, even from down here and go to Pelican. Problem is, is you get one weather system. You get one weather system and it doesn't take much. The wind kicks up, the current kicks up, the velocity of the water moving through here, because it goes all the way through the marsh in many places. What it'll do is it'll overtop those barriers and when that happens, the oil gets in, it's gonna suffocate everything. Now, if we just have a sheen, in a few places in the past, you know, a sheen of oils come in, the coca tree, prime example, in 2007, fourth largest spill in Louisiana history, they contained it. A month afterwards, the grass was, looked like it was on crack. The fertilizer hit it. Everything came back around it. The problem is, if we let the oil come in and try to make these big saves on the marsh on the outside, we're gonna lose everything on the inside, which kills all of our futures. The only way to potentially even have a recovery, say they put us on a five-year shutdown, a two-year shutdown, a 10-year shutdown, is if we have something to come back to when it's over. You got the oyster grounds, which are pretty much these open, broken areas that are all mud bottom. You start hitting a little bit of sand out here, you got no oysters, but you come back over here where the map doesn't show, there's oysters all the way back in the Lake Bourne, all oysters. Now the problem is, is over the years of erosion since the oil company started cutting these cuts. It's allowed the velocities to increase, which has allowed the water to rip through, coupled with a few hurricanes and just over time, the marsh is not coming out, of, or the water's not coming out of the river anymore to drop sediment, so we're not growing at all, and we haven't grown in 60 years. So it's only gonna be going backwards. So everything you see out here that's loosely broken in the next five to 10 years is gonna disappear anyway. So if you try to save this, you're pretty much just condemning the interior marsh. Now, if you were to save the interior marsh and just abandon out here, in time the marsh will grow back itself. Not only that, oysters happen to be the fastest thing that grows in the marsh. So, if you save the fish, with the fish here, the oysters will come back. Even though we may have a loss of life out here on the oysters, you can come back, you can bed, you can see they'll grow back fast. An oyster takes about nine months to go from a seed to mature harvest. A redfish, on the other hand, takes four years to get to spawning maturity. A trout takes even longer than that. All right, now the problem is you got fish that spawn in the fall, fish that spawn in the spring, redfish spawn in the spring, shrimp spawn in the spring. Pretty much everything that this all lives on spawns in the spring, but if they don't have the ability to nursery somewhere, it doesn't matter. You're absolutely condemning the future of this place.